So this morning, uh, before we get to our main subject, uh, which is going to be pickup phasing, I want to show you what's in this bag. I alluded to it a few weeks ago. I've shared it on Patreon. We're doing laundry. There's noise. Sorry about that. We're going to be doing another project build. A friend of mine in Florida gave me a guitar to give away as I kind of allowed everybody over on Patreon to kind of decide what we're going to do with this. And I have some really special stuff planned for this build. Um, and we're going to give this guitar away as well. An Epiphone Les Paul. It is beautiful. 100% perfect. Plays great. It's awesome. It sounds like a dead doornail, but it plays amazing. Uh, we're going to fix it up. We're going to do the thing. Don't worry. I'm not going to put a Bigsby on it. We're not going to do anything insane like that. But we're just going to do some stuff that I think is really going to make it sound good, make it play well, and then we're going to give it away. I think we're just going to play with some pickup, and then we're going to replace the pots in it probably. Before we start, the washing machine starts shaking the motorhome. We should probably talk about one more thing. The giveaway Gretsch. I think we're at like... 32,000 or 39,400 subscribers or something something like that we only have like 600 to go before we give this away we hit 40,000 I'm gonna we're gonna pick a winner from all those people that have entered at dylancontest.com uh, it's gonna be random and we're gonna pick somebody and we're gonna send them this guitar I want to do one or two more videos with this guitar this week before then it's very close so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button because I will check Somebody that's not subscribed is not going to win it. I'm just going to tell you. But we'll do a couple more videos with this before it goes. So, pickup phasing. Uh, this has come up a few times in our comment section and asking about it. Um, and I've never really done a breakdown video of it. So, let's talk about pickup phasing. Um, one of the big questions we always get is, for example, if I take this humbucker and I flip it over this way, is it going to be out of phase? Uh, for those of you in the know, um, that may sound like a dumb question, but it actually, I can understand why people ask it. So, we're going to uh, we're going to address this now. So, pickup phasing. What does it mean? There's two different kinds. Well, two different aspects to pickup phasing. One is the electronic, the electrical phase, and two, the magnetic. Okay, and they have to be in sync. For something to work okay and I guess we'll cover uh, reverse wound reverse polarity sort of in this discussion as well um, so for example this pickup here is all these coils all of them are wound counterclockwise okay I wind everything counterclockwise so that means that the wire is being wrapped around the coil this way okay it's going this direction all these coils all of them. this is south polarity up this is north polarity up this is north polarity up this is south polarity up okay and what we're gonna we're gonna get to how this works in a minute so um, every time we have a magnet in a pickup we need to magnetize said magnet so here we have a pole. This is a, you know, one of these uh, pole piece magnets for a Strat pickup, just normal, loose. And what I typically do is I press this all together in a press and I make the bobbin. Um, I actually wind the pickup first and then I magnetize it. So we take this very simple device, very simple. Um, I can actually leave a, a link in the description. If you ever want to magnetize a magnet yourself, um, I'll leave a link to this little rig it's super simple and basically it's just a, a flat vise uh, with two magnets that are polarized opposite of each other and all we do is we just when it's in a bobbin it's way easier to do this but we pass it in between here okay and we do that I have a certain preset number of times we won't talk about specifics um, and then I check gals and make sure that it's what I want but here for just this sake of our conversation all right so that magnet wasn't magnetized and now it is so let's find something metal and now it is magnetic 
okay? The way this works is depending on which way you face it. So if we face it this way and we do it, it might be north on this side of the magnet and south on this side of the magnet. If we flip the, pick, the magnet over and run it through the same way, then we could go south on the other side and north on the other side. We could control the polarity by how we magnetize it through those magnets. Now, a humbucker magnet, is this is a bar magnet. We're getting into how we magnetize and what we do here. It's gonna get to polarity in a minute. So here's a bar magnet. What a lot of people don't realize is this, it's magnetized edge to edge, okay? So on this particular magnet, I've got them marked here. This is the north side, and this is the south side of this Alnico 5 polished bar magnet. In the humbucker, it sits flat in the bottom, and the pole pieces touch one side, and the other pole pieces touch the other side, and so then you have north on this side, and you have south on this side. Let's talk about humbuckers first. If the wiring stays the same, we have the magnet here, where we have the north side facing that way, and we have the south side facing this way and we were to physically flip that pickup around, the magnet would go with it, and no polarity would change. Nothing would change. It doesn't hurt anything, it doesn't bother anything. Now the industry standard, for some reason, is that the screw pole goes to the outside here, or if it's in the bridge position, it goes towards the bridge. There is no scientific or tonal reason for that. I'll have a whole nother video about this. Humbuckers weren't even supposed to have screws in them in the first place. So it does not matter which way the humbucker faces. Um, we have a project coming up with the guitar I just showed you. And I wanna do an experiment and a tone test and stuff and show you that whole flip it around deal. So when we go to build that guitar, I'll, we'll get into it, okay? You can flip that thing over, that doesn't affect phase. What does affect phase, if we were to take this pickup and actually take the magnet out, flip it over, and run the north side this way and the south side that way, now we're out of phase. Or if we were to take our hot, that's magnetic phase. So magnetic phase would, being made out of magnetic phase would be changing the magnetic phase would be flipping the magnet over in the pickup and running the south side over this way and this way, okay? So if you have a Les Paul, for example, and you wanna do that whole Peter Green deal, that's what you do. You take your pickup apart and you would flip the magnet over and then you would be out of phase in the middle position. It will still sound the same. The pickup will still sound the same within it in this case. But when you put it with another pickup um, that is the magnets the other way, it will be out of phase magnetic. There's also electrical phase. Electrical phase would be, um, it's easier to demonstrate with the strap pickup. Electrical phase would be, let's say we have south here, south here. So this pickup is got the south side up and it's got the south side up here, okay? So magnetically they're the same, but what we would do then to flip phase is we would actually in two strap pickups, instead of hooking the white wire up to the ground, uh, the black wire up to the ground, or in our case red, and the white wire up to the hot, we would flip those around, and that would be electrically out of phase. So flipping the wires backwards would be electrically out of phase. And that, when you, if you were to do that with these two pickups, and then put this position right here and listen to these two pickups at the same time, that would give you that really super thin out of phase sound. The Peter Green sound, but with single coils, it's really, really thin and super kind of tinny sounding, right? What about reverse polarity, reverse wound, reverse polarity? Now this is an interesting one. If you reverse the magnetic polarity, so let's use these two pickups as an example. If you re reverse the magnetic polarity in one pickup by flipping the magnet over and flip the wire around, then you've reversed the magnetic polarity and the electrical polarity, and now it will not act out of phase, but it will be noise canceling, and that's called reverse wound, reverse polarity. So if we run this magnet north up, and we run the wires backwards, and we run this south up, and we run the wires correctly, 
and it would basically work like a humbucker when it's in this second position. But you have to flip the magnetic polarity and the electrical polarity for reverse wound reverse polarity to work. If you have a situation where the magnetic polarity is right, but the electrical polarity is wrong, you will be out of phase. If you have a situation where the electrical polarity is right, but the magnetic polarity is wrong, you will still be out of phase. Both of them have to switch backwards for you to be able to use the pickup in a guitar. So it's very helpful um, to get like the Shatten polarity checker because it's helpful to have one in the toolkit. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, it's very helpful to have one in a toolkit because let's say you're mixing brands of pickups, for example. Let's say you order one of mine and, and you're in like a, let's say like a Tele, okay? And you want my bridge pickup, but you want somebody else's neck pickup, or you want to you have a bunch of pickups in a drawer, and you want uh, to use two different brands. Not everybody wants the same. Some people want clockwise. Some people want counterclockwise, like for me, for example. So how do you compensate for that? Well, if you have one of those pickup polarity checkers, it flips over one way and it flips over the other way, depending on the polarity. And you say, well, I've got magnetic polarity going one way here and I've got magnetic polarity going the other way on this other one. So I guess on that one, for me to get the phase right, I need to switch the wires on one, but not the other, okay? So then you'll be able to pick the correct polarity and you know understand because what otherwise it's trial and error otherwise you hook up the pickups you put it in the guitar and you're like ah oh, crap they're out of phase in the middle position dang it if you do it ahead of time and you know that if your magnetic polarity and your electrical polarity are out of phase or, or opposite on both pickups then you hook it up and you'll know it'll work the first time so uh, hopefully that helps uh, this has been a you know question that we get a lot flip this around don't matter the directions of physical directions of the pickups doesn't matter it's the electrical hookup and the magnetic polarity that's how phasing works all right let's go over some viewer comments uh, from the last couple videos um, let's see Catherine says how much watts so she must be uh, from a different country, which is really cool. Um, basically, our question is, how many watts are is my soldering iron? I have a 25 watt cheap, but all the time I have difficulty to heat up the pot. Okay, so um, I use a 40 watt Weller soldering iron. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, it's super cheap, it's only 40 bucks, but it works awesome. And what's really funny is, as I'm going around the country visiting like some of my friends and stuff that do the same thing that I do, they all use this, almost all of them use the same one. It's a really good soldering iron for $40. Um, Reverend Sykes says, if the 43 wire had a higher resistance than the 42, that means that it's thinner than the 42. How is 43 thinner than 42? What measurement is this? So um, the American wire gauge, which is AWG, um, the higher the number, the smaller the wire. So for example, um, two gauge wire, which is something that you would find like on the main batteries on my motorhome, is this big thick wire, right? And then so as soon as it, as it gets smaller, 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 the number goes higher. 14 gauge wire, for example, 12 gauge wire, 14 gauge wire, is what's in the wall of your house. And it's about a little less than an eighth of an inch in diameter, something like that. So we get up to 42 gauge wire. Um, and I wanna say it's like 0 0.0024 or 25 thousandths of an inch. And then 0 0.3 is like 0 0.0022 maybe, 21, something like that. So as the number gets higher, the wire gets smaller. Okay, so related to this question, Junk Food Zombie says, what if you use the wire from the Strat pickup on a Tele pickup, we're talking about in the neck, and everything else was the same? Okay, so remember that we're using two different wire gauges. So the 42 is thicker 
right, than the 43. Um, tele pickups typically have 43. To get the same amount of wine count, around 7,600 to 8,000 ish, somewhere in there, wines on a neck pickup, you have to use 43 because 42 doesn't fit. <laughs> Believe it or not, going from 0.0024 to 0.0022 when it's multiplied times 10,000 wines or 8,000 wines or 7,500 wines makes a big difference in the overall dimension of the pickup and so the tone yes would be different but you physically wouldn't be able to fit the same amount of wines on the same neck tele neck pickup bobbin. Uh, make sure you go to dylancontest.com and you check out uh, to enter to win the guitar we just talked about. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone and check out the uh, course that's coming up on the fourth Sunday of this month and just join for whatever reason you want. You can also, there's a level over there to just watch the replays of those courses, which is really cool. One thing I've not talked about very much, and I really need to start telling everybody about this, but we don't have the details all worked out. I am on my way. The reason we are where we are is I am on my way to Denver right now um, over the next few weeks so that the first week of July, I think, or the week after July 4th weekend, I'm going to be with Texas Toast Guitars and we're going to be teaching some guitar building classes. And I think we're going to make them available online. So if you're interested in that, put that in the comments and let me know. Um, because that is going to be something that's going to be really cool. He's going to be doing the wood part of how to build a guitar, and I'm going to be doing the electronics part of how to build a guitar. Maybe we're going to do some pickup winding demos. We're going to do some, it's going to be a week long. So probably I would say a couple hours a day of live video um, that, you know, let's say you pay 10 bucks or something or whatever. I don't know all the details yet. We're working on that, but I, we need to start telling people about it because it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited to collaborate with Texas Toast Guitars and some other people. Uh, apparently there's going to be a bunch of other people there that I, maybe I haven't met or don't totally know, but they're experts on other stuff that I don't know about. So it's going to be a really cool collaboration. Um, and then one last thing, custom straps. Make sure you check out the pre-order at Dylan Talks Tone. I'll put links to all this stuff below, but I, I just want to get your thoughts on some of this stuff and let me know let me know what you think. And how about the new giveaway guitar, man? It's pretty sweet. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited to build that thing up. I have some pretty hot. I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Come with that guitar. That whole guitar was a surprise, is a surprise, is gonna be a surprise. That's all I'm saying. And we'll get to the rest later. Thanks for hanging out. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. I didn't mean to go every day this month. And I haven't. But when I can, I like it. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.